Okay. Uh, the goal in this episode is uh, survive the winter. Ha ha ha. And let's see where we can land after the bespoken winter comes. Um, yeah. I don't like is, uh, if the winter comes, everything gets slower or even to a crawl. And, uh, it's it's uh, gameplay wise a nice addition, but also a little bit ah next pipe. Um, also a challenge, and yeah, let's welcome the challenge. So this pipe is in construction mode. Uh, this pipe is uh, worked on. The out switch is waiting for switch. Um, we have this power line up and running. The substation waiting for power. We have this one. Is it? Is there somewhere? Someone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this will be very, very fast, <laughs> like we've seen here. Okay. So theoretically, we can get our power running uh, from the filthy westerners. I will not activate it because there's uh, actually no need to, but uh, if you want to, we can have it. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Let's fly back and uh, take a look if we can help our comrades out in the logistics of the construction industry. Um. I think because we should have some cranes left. Yeah. So we assign people to our next stages. Mm. What do I want? I want to have the treatment plant. Yes. Um, the treatment plant needs one crane. So we can also raise up another housing block. Mm, a good joy of uh, building something in the snow and not seeing where the frick we're going. So this one... God of Perilism has to suffer a little bit because of the snow. White on white is always a great idea. Yeah, always a great idea. and remove the point we created let's get this one in Try the snap to grid trick if this one helps us. Nope. Mm. Okay. Let's get not too picky. I have uh, constructed uglier things in this city already, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Construction office get to work. This is in work. First Christmas in our Republic without uh, people. 
Nobody here to celebrate except some foreign workers. Let me assign myself a the crew for the roads. So I maybe don't forget by I rather would like one here. Or okay. Road crew would totally don't know where our everyone is. So this one was the bulldozer home. Then we've got some, yeah, half of the dumpers is, uh, here. And I think the other half... Where do they live? Yep, yep. Okay, road crew done. I think most of you are aware of it. it's a good idea to have a separate road crew and um, don't use any workers to build up the roads. So every road you see is at the moment uh, raised up by pure mechanizations. They are a big investment and have to pay back. Um, one thing which is tempting is to uh, build up a construction industry because we construct everything by ourselves, so why not? It seems logical, but if we um, look actually at the spending of our city, so let's make it all and see the imports from the Soviet bloc. We see that the gravel imports, for example, are 22,000 uh, rubles. This is... Uh, this is not much. So, uh, like I said, I measured the building of a basic gravel industry. It came around uh, 200k. Maybe a little bit less if you're good. You need uh, mechanizations and uh, vehicles. You need workers. You, uh, the conveyor belts are goddamn expensive. So, we can also, if we add up, the, for example, the concrete to it, then it's... Uh, Let's make it 50,000 rubles. So it's one quarter of the construction industry. And um, yeah, we save time and money not building them and uh, going on forward. Because the main objective is to have a running system and uh, to get things started to uh, have a economy which, which uh, pays back some of the costs we have in the start we will be a little bit more later on the economy will uh, make profit the further we get into the economy the more profit we make because uh, we will integrate uh, from clothes backwards our fabric our chemicals maybe and um, yeah, get into the crop business So, the housing flats rising up nice and fast. Treatment plant also, so we can assign people to. Oh. oh. Ah. People's assigned to the heating system. Yeah. And do we wait for a crane? Yeah, we wait for the crane. Ah, next block up. So we should have some free cranes. Let's assign this one and this one. I always want to have the support of the cranes because. Uh, People cost money, our cranes, trains, something is wrong with my head. Um, our cranes cost money and uh, it's simply <laughs> an acceleration of force. If we have people here on the uh, working side, so we have 15 people 
uh, and the work days melt like snow on the <laughs> on the Soviet border. Um, yeah, so we are on double speed, but uh, you see how fast it goes. Next step will be uh, they will wait for two trucks to come in. If you have the three trucks, it also is a very fast process. Most important is for me that there are no cranes and um, nothing else at the construction site, so we have blocked off everything and nothing will move on, which can happen very fast. So, what does our piping do? Yeah, can also be worked on by people. We should also have a pipe in this direction, which nobody seems to care and want to do something. Um, we need to connect these ones. Because the footpath here is ready. That's the second one. Ah, it's uh, the big pump. Okay. Because I'm searching for the water supply. We are here. Okay. Is this one done? I don't want it. Yeah. Footpath is done, so we can. Um, also start to work on our water supply and not supply. Here we are. Here we are. Let's start the groundwork on these ones. You don't get the memo this one. And these ones. Thank you. Okay. Meat storage, how many work this? 150. One crane, uh, cranes are, should be on the way somewhere. One crane is sitting there, but I think he also waits for departure. Situation at the border is okay. I'm not worried about this at the moment. Um, because the construction sites are spaced out a little bit, um, also the trucks delivering their goods are spaced out. Rebel situation works. No complaint here. The housing blocks. We can have a ground stage here, and uh, I actually want to reduce the number of workers, so nobody starts to work here, if I'm not saying so. We will get people here in, so they run into the construction sites. But I do want to have manual control. Here I only want to have workers. This one is moving on, waiting for crane. The pipe is piping. Yes, we see the power of the crane. Seventeen work days. I think our ground pipe isn't super work intensive anyway, but yeah, crane is still powerful. This one, yeah, excavator is moving on. I like the next excavator is moving on. I like the automatic nature of uh, construction sites. <laughs> A little bit more obsessive maybe than uh, reasonable. But um, yeah, we are in money pinching mode and we cannot uh, throw workers and people everywhere. 
uh, first thing we would wouldn't get nothing done and uh, it would only cost money and fuel because the fuel is also not a small part of the money we spent here like I said before time is money and uh, if we have construction industry driving around like madmen getting nothing done they only spend our money and our phone work for us and yeah it's not great not a desirable place to be in so we have the power network um, let me go on pause to build up in a relaxed way the power power for here so we are in a hard, hardest hard mode uh, constructing laying out things in the snow My First order of business, I want to um, stop all the all the construction sites, which I don't want to be finished at the moment. Um, do we want to have this one or this one? Maybe the lower one first. So I want you. I want you. This road is under construction. This is a uh, unfinished road. Do we keep it in one part or not? We can do it in two parts. No worries here. So every road connection separates the possible long roads we can gravel up. But um, I'm quite relaxed when it comes to the graveling at this stage because uh, most of the things are in good shape and uh, graveled. And next big project would be the heating plant, um, the fire station, getting up and running. These are the priorities, so maybe we even uh, wait with this one. Ah, let's wait. This one. Priorities are a heating plant, bus station, fire station. Yeah, here we can also gravel this one up. Okay, okay. So, we go on. Ah, yeah. The Power supply. What's the, what's the name of the game? Hopefully, I haven't plunked in another power supply and forgot about it. Let's put it in here. I'm a little bit worried about the road access, but maybe we can make something work. Completely sneaky. No? Yes? This one is not a super great one. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. So the work crew can come from the bottom. <laughs> they can't uh, because this one needs to either this one or this one in the bottom to be graveled up or we make a temporary connection here it's also not a bad idea yep so they can work on this one but not on that one Great. Next fun topic is uh, power connection. This is always in the way. Uh, yeah. So how we do it? Make 
distributed power connection here or do we need I think I will pull up a second cable if, if I need more power here. Go straight like a pro or go go like the road. Ah go like the road. Usually it never does, but maybe this time it will pay off. Okay. Money pinching mode activated, so um, let's change our hotbar. Get the delete tool. Is it the delete tool the right one? No. Yeah, so we are in uh, playing the one, two, three game again. Oh, this one wasn't my. This was high risk. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the funny thing is we pay for the poles, not for the electric wiring, so having less poles saves us uh, valuable rubles, because we need to spend them on vodka. Oh, other good things in life. Keep our people fed and uh, in clothes, for example. But, uh, Shortly we will produce our own high quality clothes, so no worries here. Okay. Looks nice. So, um, 3000 rubles go into production. The path. Please go. Footpath also went into production. Yeah, sometimes happens. Maybe because the dialogue was not expanded or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Nice. We should have uh, power everywhere if this is finished. It's also a sign. Do we assign? No, we don't assign one because it's far away and it's winter. We don't want our comrades to drive around like. Or maybe we do assign. Ah, let's finish a hospital or two. Meanwhile, yeah. Okay, you can uh, start this one and push the people down. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we can start to care about our logistics. Ah, our uh, meat storage also can get some love and tender from our foreign workers. Meat love. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a European thing, I think, more than America. So the... Are we connected to road here? Ah, we have no road tool. Okay. Yeah. 
this one is a big one. It's also, I think, a uh, lot of work days. Thousands for the groundwork. Two thousand in total. Yeah. Uh, bus stop is worked on, which I like to see. Also, we can start to work on the. Uh, let's let's. They have something to do. They have something cute in. So okay. Um, did they recognize the building? No. So we manually. It's a little bit strange because the bus stop they recognized here. But this one is something of. Ah, oh, we have enough to do, comrade. We <laughs> we'd rather build our small little bus stop here because. Everyone likes to have a bus stop. Okay, this one can also go into the next stage. Yeah, the priorities of the construction office are sometimes a little bit strange. Do we have here, speaking of priorities, go to 2000 meters. Um, yeah, so set it up. So this one also can... Ah, maybe that can leave a thousand meters. Okay, okay, okay. So what do we need for a functioning city? We have power, we have uh, water and sewage is on the way. Are on the way? Yes. So here we can uh, send our people in for the ones which are. Yeah, excavator is busy. Um, for example, this one. And this one, nice, they could be uh, dealt with. How's the pump looking? Pump also... Very little work days, but uh, many things to deliver. Yeah, water treatment uh, could use some chemicals. Let's shop for some, uh, shop for some vehicles. So, cover to chemicals, uh, Skoda. We also need some vehicles for the, um, for the shop. Cover to Skoda, one, two. Um, activate our second distribution office uh, for the meat and the alcohol. So, Kavatol, Skoda, alcohol and meat. We only have this one. This is mod. I would, I could buy this one. Uh, yeah, but 1.3 tons or 6.5 tons. Um, Scott, it is. A little bit boring, but <laughs> what can you do? We are in the 60s, we have a uh, little choice. So let's make the best of it. It's also a point of optimization to decide on smaller vehicles if, if there are smaller quantities needed. Like, for example, the Wutka um, for the pub. How's the pub doing? Oh, nobody wants to work here. What's that? Comrades. Can't go without a pub. Mm. Proud of our nation, our star. Also get get the full attention of the construction offices. 
Uh, Comrade Lenin. Ah, can be connected. So he has also puff access. Get Comrade Lenin dealt with, please. Um, second Comrade Lenin. Have we plonked a bit in here? I think not. But uh, second Conrad Lenin can wait because we start dissolving blocks in our operation and later on the next ones. Here we have, uh, okay, groundwork in progress. Here also. It's okay. Um, the hospital is coming up. This is done. Maybe we uh, stop the groundwork stages of these. Ah, it's not much missing anyway. Gravel. Gravel. Ah, gravel is the choke point. So I want I want full attention. Ah, we can use the super duper feature of high priority. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope for the best. No priority. No priority. Low priority. No people. Low priority. No people. No imports. Yeah. Also this one is... Yeah, it's on a waiting mode, but anyway, low priority. No people. No priority. No people. These are a side shop. As long as we uh, have enough living space, we can build them up as we please. They are dealt with. Uh, kindergarten is ready to rock and roll. So let's let's invite the crew. Underground works. This one is ready to be worked up. It's a cost crunchy excavator. This one will be ready shortly. This one also. Get the guys in or under. Yes. Um, so... Pumping and plumbing is uh, plumped on. Ah, we have the hospital. We can assign some fuel to the hospital. Uh, will not work at the moment because there's no power, but let's take care of them. So the little buggers don't go to refuel too often. Uh, saving some traffic. Let's buy little buggers. So the cheapest one we want. No matter what, I, there's really no difference. Um, if you have such a small operation here. So one, two, maybe three. Get it on. Okay. So we are here in the uh, vehicle land. Get this one ready. Want to go here and go here. Load me, please. Chemicals and nothing else. Not that this one ever happened to me. Um, yeah. Let's get started. Next one is the uh, shopping center. The quantity here is quite limited, uh, so let's pump up the food because food is this is uh, how by consumption. So uh, food is consumed the most. The rest is not consumed not so much. So I want to have the biggest buffer. Um, working without a warehouse, especially without a modded warehouse, because I have some warehouses in in my collection uh, where we have everything like food and the people goods. Uh, this one 
That's only meat, so... A mixed warehouse here, which has everything is really great. There's also a mixed warehouse, uh, which look, looks like this one, but uh, has everything, uh, 50 tons of everything, I think. Uh, which is great, because there's only a little buffer needed, not a big one. But uh, it's needed nonetheless, so what we can do is... Have the storage in the trucks and <laughs> on the road. So we need food, we need electronics and we need this and we unload and we wait until I have to wait until load not necessary. Wait until unload and we wait until unload is uh, seventy percent. So we make sure that um, they always uh, start to drive back to the border if uh, the food is empty. So we want hundred percent food and we go to down minus 10% two times then uh, we get 10% of electronics and 10% of clothes so he will uh, load up maximum 10% at the border and uh, wait until he has unloaded uh, let's say 80% so if for example if food is empty and one of these are empty uh, he will drive away and uh, it should be safe enough. 70% is a little bit more safe if, if we use 80%. Let's copy it. Um, luckily, the uh, this setup, the advanced setup, will also is also copied. Yep. Like I said, I want to minimize traffic, so uh, this setup is the most efficient way. Uh, it would be more efficient to have a warehouse here somewhere sitting and uh, delivering you deliver to the warehouse in bigger trenches and uh, pull out from the warehouse for the for the shopping center. All right. How is this line doing? This line is good so we can send our people in. This one should also be good. Send the people in here. Um, these are good. The these, This pipe here, what's going on here with you? Ah, excavator friend is excavating away. Okay. So we have a complete pipe set up here. This one is being worked on. Pump is ready to pump. This one will be ready. Okay. This pipe is ready, so uh, we have fresh water in. If we start jump start the whole system, we will see if it works. <laughs> Always a nice moment. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, our town is quite complete on a very low level. We have the kindergarten also already. If you import people, they pop out very fast, children, so yeah. Let's be prepared for the popping. Uh, we don't start delivering <laughs> meat because uh, I have learned today if there's no power, the meat will decay, which I really like. Uh, so, uh, another thing to consider and take into account into the game, which is nearly complex enough. So, let's add another complication to our roster. Yeah. So, this one, high priority, uh, seems to work. Comrade excavators are on the job. Hundred work days. If they usually uh, are as fast as gravel can be delivered, it's a really nice balance. So um, everything is here. Yeah. Okay. What about the bus station? Bus station is ready to go. So let's deliver some people to the bus station so they can build the bus station. Mm, fire station. Get the road access. Yes, and uh, can be also dealt with. 
next project. After they finished up here the, the high priority job. 21 gravel, this is uh, 2T138. One is coming, another one will find a way also here. Convinced. This road is not being worked on, which is okay at the moment. I want to have the... Uh, I have want to have power here, so... Power it shall be. Power me up. Empowerment of the people. Mm. Okay. Yeah, bust up. <laughs> it's a short job. Our beloved snow, so everything will go at max efficiency. Rather not. Uh, gravel. Everyone waits for gravel. So he's not waiting, but uh, shortly he will. Maybe we can prioritize also this one up. Okay. You were at the crane. Waiting on people. People are coming. How many people do they load anyway? 21. Mm -hmm. Limit is high? 100? 100? Don't know how they decided. Um, 21, 170 workdays. 21 plus... Ah, maybe it's plus this crane. So 21 plus crane uh, equals 100 workforce. Hmm, possible. Possible. Yeah. So with the 100... <laughs> with the speed of 100 workers, uh, they should be... They should do it in two days. You can see it's quite rapidly ticking down. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we are, uh, <laughs> we can go back to our <laughs> high efficiency mode. <laughs> nice. Okay. So this is the natural end of this episode. Uh, next episode, <laughs> we hope uh, to finish up the heating plant and fire up the city. Either the heating plant is finished and we can fire it up, or the... Um, Summer will give us enough temperature so the people are not upset by lack of heating. Yeah, will be interesting. Money situation. Um, <laughs> 400, uh, 400,000 ruble in the bank. So we spent 200,000 ruble this episode. Some vehicles need to be bought. Uh, some big projects are rolling around. Um, yeah, but but this one is also waiting on a steel still. Yeah. Hope we had a steel mill. Okay. Um, yeah. So <laughs> money is going down. Challenge is uh, rising up. I'm really excited um, how far we go with the plan of taking no loans in the cosmonaut mode. Yep. Um, I think we need to stretch our legs to the uh, border of the of the enemy of the uh, class enemy. Don't know how how it is called in English. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure, the um, this road. Uh, has to be priority to get built. Let's uh, do this at the last this last thing here in the this episode and uh, yeah, have a glorious finish. Mm -hmm. This one I would rather build in one piece because the. Uh, 
If the comrades uh, start to construct it at the one end, they uh, really save on driving time. So if this was would be the second one, uh, they have to drive a little bit longer. So if this is a massive piece of work, up to the end, yes, up to the end. If this is a massive piece of work, uh, should really uh, benefit from this. This one was uh, stopped. Uh, go on. Okay. Quite important. Uh, money is running out, and uh, we cannot afford to have a real, real uh, rubles shortage because we need the rubles for other things. So, um, need to take care of uh, balancing out the budget, uh, tapping into the dollars. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice. So, let's hope for the best. Uh, I'm worried for the money, but we will see. Bye.